Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite subjects in the world and that is washi tape. I am still completely in love with it and I do have a video out there that describes the history and the different types and sizes and things like that. But today I wanted to specifically talk about my absolute favorite way to use washi tape. I'm sure like many of you, I have a whole bunch of washi tape in my stash and when I first discovered washi tape, I really used it more of in a decorative way. I had a lot of seasonal washi tape with patterns and styles and things like that. But I feel like my washi usage has really evolved in the past year or six months or so especially. And I use it in a much more functional way now. I have showed this to you before. This is how I store my washi tape on my desk. This is about a five inch tall, nice glass squarish type bowl. And these are my most used rolls of washi tape that I keep in here. As you can see, it's really nice and open, so it's easy to you know, grab a roll and get in and out of. But I feel like I've perfected it since I last showed you this. I am now putting my washi rolls on these metal rings. These are two inch book rings. I believe they're only like 50 cents. They're really inexpensive, and I probably have about 10 or so in here at a time. As you can see, I can get between six to eight different rolls on each ring, so you can really hold quite a bit. I do have some seasonal washi tapes in here that are just usually at the bottom, and I just put those in and out every single month. I change it for the season or for the holiday. And on each ring, I have them divided up by different types or categories of my life. So right here, I've got my weather ones. This is my medical right here. I've got some household ones. These are like national holidays. This is my personal one. I've got my financial laundry, you know, some travel. Anyway, I won't go through all of them, but you can kind of get the idea on how I've organized them. And so they're even easier now for me to grab in and out because if I want to do my budgeting, for instance, I just grab this entire ring and then I have all my most used washi tapes for that category all at once. So it's really worked out awesome. And let me show you how I've been using washi as functional stickers actually is how I'm using them. So that is my absolute favorite way. If you didn't know any better, you would think that these were all stickers, but these are all just washi tapes that I'm using as stickers. And that's just kind of the way that my brain has started working with washi tape is just to think it more of in a functional way. As you can see, I still use some washi tape in a functional manner once in a while, but this is really what I'm gravitating towards. And this is really how I'm using most of my washi tape these days. So here's just some more examples. Obviously, some washi tape is going to have longer patterns than others, but I've got a graduation here. Here's some planner ones, pumpkin for my gardening. Then I've got, this is interesting, this is the frozen washi. I have two really best friends. One is blonde and one has red hair, so the frozen washi works out perfect for that. And I've been using the inside out washi for tracking emotions. We've got some medical, some planning, the cars for my errands, some laundry. So you can just get an idea on how it's really been working. I completely love this. And I, for me, it was mind blowing to start thinking of washi tape in this way. Instead of it being like a roll of adhesive tape, I think of it more as planner stickers on a roll. So let me give you an idea on how I actually use it. So here's one of my personal ones that I use, which is the butterflies here. And then I just use my trusty palette knife, which I've showed you before, and then I'll just rip it off. I love the palette knife, which is this right here, the Artist Touch palette knife, because it really just gives you a super clean, slick edge right here, where I, all the other things that I've tried, it was either a jagged edge or I couldn't keep track of it. So this, is, this has been really great. This was from Cindy Guntart, which I've mentioned her before. She's the one who came up with this idea, which I completely love. And it's only a few dollars at my craft store. So that is how I'm using it. And as you can imagine, there are just so many different types of washi tapes that you can use. I'm trying to pull some out here. I do have a washi type. I don't know if anybody else has thought about this, but my washi type is a white or a clear background like this. And then just really nice, cute, simple, colorful icons or images like this. I completely love that. And that to me looks more of like a sticker instead of just, hey, that's a really nice pattern on the washi roll. So 
Also, let me give you some numbers here because I thought this was really interesting. So here is one of my, this just has a really nice, nice colors, that's bold colors that stand out right here. So I actually figured out the math because that's the way I roll. And for stickers, if you think of washi tape as stickers, um, let me grab an average roll here. Okay, an average roll is going to be 15 millimeters, which is the distance between my fingers right here. So the height or the width, however you look at it. 15 millimeters is 0.59 inches. So because there's a teeny bit of space on the top and the bottom, a couple, you know, one or two millimeters on the top and the bottom, we can pretty much call this half of an inch is what you're going to get for your image. That to me is the Goldilocks size for a sticker is that half inch sticker, which is not too big and not too small. There obviously are going to be other sizes smaller and larger than this, but 15 millimeters is just, there's so many more choices in this 15 millimeter size than any other size. So 15 millimeters is your standard size. And then how much you get on each roll is going to average 10 meters. 10 meters is 32.81 feet. So if you multiply, now you can count these all out. This is kind of a standard, maybe a little bit larger. I'm gonna say on average, you're gonna get between 15 to 25 or 30 images per foot. I'm just gonna round it to 20, which is a nice even number. Let's say you get 20 images per foot. If you multiply that by 10 meters, that is 32.81 feet which is 656 stickers. I don't know about you, but that kind of blows my mind because an average roll like this is about $3. So for $3, you're getting more than 650 stickers. Let's say I'm wrong and you only get 500 stickers. $3 for 500 stickers is still cheaper than the average stickers that I get from my teacher store that are probably the most inexpensive ones out there. So that this is still a much cheaper option than any other sticker out there. So I love that. I, that just, like I said, just completely like opened up my world when I kind of figured this out and I've been using, using this and doing this kind of thing with my washi for over six months now. It's been a really long time and it's worked out really great. Now, like I said, there are so many different types of washi rolls out there. You just kind of need to figure out what you need to track, what you want to put in your planner. And then just that's how you kind of figure out which rolls of washi tape to actually buy. So you're not wasting money, even though $3 isn't too, inex too expensive there. I did pull out some average sizes of stickers here. These right here are going to be three fourths inches. These are about five eighths inch. These are half inch. And these right here are going to be your mini stickers or your micro stickers, whatever you want to call them. So if you want to kind of match these up with your washi tape, of course, like I said, there are different rolls or sizes of washi tape. This again is your 15 millimeter standard size. This right here is 10 millimeters, which is 0.39 inches or two fifths of an inch. However you look at that. This right here is, did I say 10? This is 12. If I, so this is 12 millimeters, which is 0.47 inches. This is the 10 millimeter, which is 0.39 inches, which is 0.4. And then this is eight millimeter, which is 0.3 inches. So that you can get an idea on how these match up. So let's go back to the stickers here. Three fourths is a little bit on the larger size. I tend to gravitate to the five eighths or half inch stickers, but this is gonna be kind of somewhere in between here, which this is, going to be like a half of an inch of a sticker. So it's kind of going to be right in here. This is going to be a little bit bigger than this one, as you can see right there, but it will still really work. If you want to match up the half inch sticker, you're going to need to go with something like this, which is 12 millimeters or the 10 millimeter will be equivalent to your half inch sticker. And then these mini or the micro stickers, it's going to be the 0.8 or the eight millimeter, which is 0.3 inches. So you can just get an idea there on, I don't know if you want me to roll all these out, but that will just give you an idea on how this matches up. So if you want to kind of run with this idea, you can kind of see how these match up. I wouldn't go much smaller than eight millimeters. The smaller washi for me is just kind of unwieldy and really difficult to use. So I would probably not go smaller than the eight millimeter. Obviously you can go larger, the 20 millimeters, washi, which I don't have one in front of me, but that's going to be more of your 
three quarters, that's 0.79 inches. So really the sky's the limit on how you want to run with this idea of using washi as planner stickers. You can also use washi tape as planner labels as well. So if you just want to get something like this, which is the solid color, you can kind of use the same idea. And in an inch or 12 inches, the average label I would say is probably one and a half inches. Let me get this straight, that's bothering me. Okay, there we go. So if you divide that, 12 inches divided by one and a half is eight stickers that you will get per foot. Now, I don't know what's going on out there in the office supply area, but half, half inch by one and a half inch label size is really the ideal size for a label. But it is very difficult to find. You're gonna to have to go to an office supply store. The Erin Condren labels, that is what the size is, half inch by one and a half inch. So it's a really great size, but you, if you want to, like I said, go out in the office supply world, you're either gonna to have to special order it or it does cost a little bit more. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna spend $30 for white half inch by one and a half inch labels. I just don't wanna do it. So, and I also don't want white because I do prefer cream colored pages in my planner. So white is not the best option for me. And I also like color. So for me, using just plain color of washi rolls is really where I'm gonna go with my, if I needed to use just colored labels in my planner. So again, this is the 15 millimeter. So it's just a little bit more than the, or a little bit wider than the sticker. Let me try and get this down so you can see. So it's, you can see it's probably one or two millimeters taller, but for me, that's not that big of a deal. There is the 10 millimeter, which is probably more of the size that is equivalent to the half inch label, but it's just, you're like the other pattern sizes, you're just not gonna be able to find a lot of that size. You know, there are, obviously, since I have them right here, you can find them, but it's just not going to be as much. That's probably a little difficult to see. Let me get a label here so you can. So this one does fit the size. So 10 millimeters is what you want if you want the half inch labels. But like I said, since 15 millimeters is all over the place, that's I'm just gonna go with that. So same thing, if you want to use this, then 12 inches divided by one and a half inch labels, you'll get eight stickers per foot that will give you 262 label stickers. So that again is still a great bargain, $3 for 262 label colored labels, which again, that's gonna, I don't know if you've done any research on color coding like I have, but it's very difficult to find colored labels in that size with more than just a few colors. You can usually find like a couple colors, but if you want color coding, really for me, and this is just where it's at. It's going to be the washi tape for both the colored labels and just the planner stickers, just like this. I also, I don't know what this is with my brain, but if I have like, for instance, my stickers, which I'll show you right here. When I use up stickers, I don't know what it is, but this bothers me. It gives me some kind of weird planner anxiety to see these blank spaces like this. So when you're using washi tape as planner stickers, you just don't have that waste and you don't have that blank space. These are all ready to go. All you have to do is rip it off. You can even rip it off with your fingers. It's already colored. You don't have to color it in. You don't have to like tear off the backing or anything like that. So this for me has really just been my number one supply and my go-to for images as stickers in my planner. It's my long-term cost-effective practical solution and I, like I said, I even am preferring this method over actual stickers, even though I do love my stickers. So once I use up all my stickers, I really do think I'm just gonna stick to using the washi tape like this as my stickers source. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, just the sky's the limit on how you want to use this idea, just like how I've implemented it into my own life. But I hope this has been helpful and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.